Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me, stating your name. I, I, Francis Slay, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Missouri. The Constitution of the State of Missouri. And the Charter and Laws of the City of St. Louis. And the Charter and Laws of the City of St. Louis. Particularly Article 8, Section 3. Particularly Article 8, Section 3. And Code Section 4.04010 and Code Section 4.04010, and will faithfully demean myself, and will faithfully demean myself, in the office of Mayor of the City of St. Louis, in the office of Mayor of the City of St. Louis. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and good afternoon. Reverend clergy, honorable members of the judiciary, honorable elected officials who are here today, to all my family, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here today. On election day, someone asked me what it was like to have my dream come true. The fact is, being mayor was never my dream or my ambition. My dream has always been, and still is, to make a difference in the city of my birth. <laughs> to do some real good to have a positive impact on the lives of everyone who lives or works here. My dream is that the city where I grew up could again be the vibrant city it once was. The St. Louis could again be a place where people from all over the country come to work, live, and play. I ran for mayor for the highest office in our city because it is an office maybe the only one, with the stature and the power to make St. Louis the center of life for a growing region and state, to return St. Louis and its region to its rightful place on the national stage, and to make St. Louis a great city again. During the course of my campaign, I met thousands of people from all walks of life of all ethnic backgrounds in all parts of the city. I was both exhilarated and humbled by the support I received, and I was both heartened and dismayed by the hunger for leadership that I found. And everywhere I went, to neighborhood meetings, to boardrooms, to supermarkets, and to people's front porches, I found the energy and the eagerness to help St. Louis overcome the challenges that we face. Today, I stand before you proud and grateful that you, the people of St. Louis, have chosen me as your mayor. I will never let you down. 